to all our CCR TV viewers a hearty welcome. This is uh, our uh, sports program and uh, we all agree and we all know that football runs in the blood of uh, Goans. We have uh, been uh, talking about football and uh, football has produced both men as well as women footballers of greater repute. If there have been international men players in football, there also have been international women players. Of course, the numbers would not be as comparable as with the men. But women also have excelled. They have gone up to the international level. And not only that, after pursuing an active football career on the field, they have diverted not only to coaching, but also refereeing. Very rare to have a three in one as a player, as a referee and as a coach. And to achieve laurels at the international level, being recognized even at the FIFA and AFC level is something outstanding. We have one and only one personality from Goa and that's also from Salset in Kurthorim. And uh, this personality has achieved great uh, fame and name, not only in India, but also in several countries of Asia under the Asian Football Confederation. We are pleased and uh, very happy that we have uh, this personality with us. And uh, that's none other than Maria Rebelo from Kurtorim. Maria, welcome to CCR TV. Thank you so much, sir, for giving such a wonderful introduction. <laughs> Thank you you deserve, you deserve not only that and much more perhaps. Uh, you have uh, excelled as a player, you excelled as a referee and mm -hmm. also as a coach. We'll mm -hmm. start from your playing days. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you have your initiation in football or any other game. So to tell you frankly, I started uh, playing uh, volleyball for, for the state, uh, state meaning uh, inter-school, uh, all India inter-school tournament. And that was the national first time that took place in Agra. And I still remember those days when I was in school. I was, uh, when I went for the trials and that, that year, uh, I, I don't know whether you know about that uh, scheme. The South Goa champion will get 10,000. Uh, this DSY will reward them. And that particular year, we were the champions in South Goa. And uh, we were the champions. And when I went for the trials, I was, uh, you know, they have not selected me. <laughs> there were already players were there and uh, fixed players were there and then I was not selected. Then my PE teacher, Mr. The LJ Thomas, he went and told the uh, coach, he approached and he told him that, uh, he is a Keralite, he cannot speak Kongani. And then he said, he is star player Kurturi, he is and you have not seen her properly. Then he said, is it? So you come at 3 o'clock again for the trials. Then he took me to Panjim, he gave me nice food, he brought me back to the uh, to the venue, it was in Mercedes. And then uh, again I have a trial and that trials were with the men's. And that time you must be knowing about Krishna, William, they were, now they are uh, working with uh, the customs. He asked me to boost them and I was very short at that time. So I started boosting them and they were hitting thar thar on the, you know. And then... Uh, 3.30 the ladies came and then I was asked to join with them. Again, I played uh, with them. And there was one girl from uh, Saipan that side. So I was boosting her. She was saying, Masha hala di, masha oir di, masha hala di. So every boost, like I was boosting, she was complaining. Then the coaches came and they said, uh, that particular lady, they said, just now she was boosting uh, men's and they did not complain. They were all hitting all over. And then, uh, you have to now uh, think for yourself because uh, these are the best boost I could see. Then, uh, then uh, he went. Both the coaches went to my co uh, to my piece sir, and they apologized. Really, we would have missed this talent. And thereafter, you know, I was regularly playing uh, uh, volleyball. I was I captain uh, uh, this Goa volleyball team also. Is it? Yeah. So you played as a lifter. Yes. Uh, uh, giving the boost, boost for me. the smashers. Yeah. yeah. And even I used to do, then later I even I used to, because I, my, I have that inborn, uh, you know, talent, which I'm grateful to God. 
and uh, that is very natural in me to play all the games. I used to play all most of the games. Uh, and football was running in my blood, running in my family. My both brothers, Alex and Jesse, were playing for Cesar Goy Sports Club. And uh, Jesse was, uh, when he was uh, in school, he was playing in the Super League that time. That, that time it was not a professional league, no? you must be knowing. So it, that was a, a Super League. So he was playing, uh, when he was in school, he was playing in the Super League. And then he joined Railways. And Alex was playing for Cesar Goy, my elder brother. So both brothers were good players and I am uh, very much gifted, uh, like you know, lucky to be born in that family. But what made that transition from volleyball to football? Yeah, if you see our uh, local boys, uh, if you see Rock Kanir, if you see my Alex brother, both my brothers and all the football players in Kuthuri, they were playing both the games and if, uh, if I, uh, if you remember in those days, uh, football and volleyball go, was uh, going hand to hand, like you know, there were both the tournaments taking place, and then it was a uh, there was a good quality, good competition, and football was uh, always like in the evenings. I used to play for fun with my local boys in the evenings, and I never thought that I would play for a state team. I never knew, first of all, that there are women ladies are playing uh, football. Football. Yeah, so I was very proud that I'm playing football and I'm playing with bands, like you know. And I used to play even inter ward. Is it? Yeah, inter ward. I used to represent my my, my ward. And did you play okay. for your girls' uh, football team school? Yeah. Then uh, what happened, sir? Uh, when I was playing uh, for fun in the evenings. So can that is like, ki when I was in school, there was one coach called uh, Mary Victoria. I don't know whether you uh, you know her. She was uh, from Bangalore. Mary Goyant. Uh, she was. Uh, transferred in Goa and then uh, one fine day I happened to meet, uh, I think uh, our uh, PT sir met her and then there was a uh, coaching camp in Kuduri and she was called, that was the only coaching camp I, I and she it. yeah attended and then she that time when she saw me she said oh you are going to play for Indian team that time Is only it? she said yeah, yeah and that time I came to know that there are ladies. So you played for your school team? Yeah and then first time we played and first time we were champions. Is it? Yeah. And then, uh, how did you progress? After school, yeah, after school, then I went to college. And uh, when I was in school also, I had uh, played for a state team, sir, juniors. And that time what happened is, I'm from the village, sir. So when I went for the trials, in fact, I was not going only for the trials. I was forced to go by a trial uh, by one of my neighbor. She forced me, you come, Maria, you are definitely going to get a chance. Come, come, come. Then uh, I did not go and my brothers were playing for Cesar Goa. And then uh, I do not have shoes and that, at that time. And then I said, uh, I was uh, hesitating because I don't have shoes, no. I wanted to go, but I don't have shoes. So I was hesitating, should I go or not go? Then uh, one uh, Saturday, my brother used to come back home. Then I told him that he says, OK, you want to go, you go. Go give a trial. Then he gave me shoes. I won a Cesar Goa jersey, his jersey and shorts, everything. And I came. And then Alex, you know, was a coach. Then uh, he asked me, he saw me. He just made us play first time. Then I was playing, after he saw me that I, that I have a good game, I am playing good, I have a good ball control, good kicks. Then he asked me, you are from where? I said, I am from Kuturi. Which position you play? I said, I want to score, I want to <laughs> score goals. Then he said, okay, you want to play forward, but uh, I will tell you Maria, he said, you can become a very good uh, midfielder. I said, uh, I don't know sir, but I want to score goals. No, no, from there you can score, <laughs> you know. You can, uh, there are more chances for you if, if you play in the midfield. I said, okay. Then I started playing uh, in midfield and that was uh, Alex Shino who told me to play in the midfield. And thereafter, I met Muthwali. Thereafter, there was no stopping, sir. And I never played, uh, there, I was never a substitute uh, entire, my entire life in football, sir. So, sir, you were in Ikran, you were in Astale? Astale, sir. And you were in school and college? College, yeah. College was, uh, that was, uh, you know, sir, uh, College uh, time, it was a uh, uh, little bit well organized. You must be knowing uh, Mr. Gama, Olaf Gama. Olaf Gama, yeah, from Kamal College. Kamal College. So, Kamal, he used to, uh, to uh, give a lot of interest for women's football. And that time, and then he saw us also, no, playing. And he knows that I play volleyball also. So, we were always champions in, both in volleyball as well as in uh, football. And he used to call us in the morning for training. So, I used to, you know, religiously I will go to uh, to for practice and I would not miss my practice and then uh,
like if there are any uh, exhibition matches and also he he would put our uh, uh, he would put our team uh, kamal college and that like that we become very popular so wherever there were finals so we used to go and play uh, before the finals and then uh, i used to get sir sometime every uh, tournament or every uh, exhibition match wherever i go i used to always get the best player and that time it was 50 rupees or uh, 100 rupees it was great yeah at that time it was 50 means okay you know so good good money and did you represent uh, go university in inter yes. university yeah so that time uh, then uh, first time uh, this uh, women's football was introduced in the inter university all india inter university and then we went to play i think it was organized first time in goa we we were we finished runners up we lost against manipur then we went to then uh, they started having those uh, zonal wise so zonal wise we went to uh, uh, kerala south zone and we were in we were put up in with that zone and he kizal i think thing was in uh, we won that uh, <coughs> we become a champion in south zone and in my gear i got a best player award and then we from there out and out we went to uh, amritsar for the all india uh, inter university tournament there we lost against uh, finals we got we were we finished runners up <coughs> that day also uh, there was one incident uh, the were referee i don't want to i don't want to say this because now i was a referee but it really happened and it did happen there in uh, punjab where uh, <coughs> uh, we lost by 3-2 and uh, the uh, the three goals which uh, guru nanak dev university scored that was clear cut offsides and the referee you will not believe sir this was really even even my coach sushil observed this so whenever i used to get the ball the coach, this referee used to de- deliberately used to come in front of me and it is really true sir then uh, from outside uh, i got the uh, this message uh, from uh, sushil sir he said give one kick the whoever comes in front of you just give one kick and then uh, means you kick the ball on the on on the on on the uh, referee or whoever just start uh, kicking the ball then what happened is uh, uh, at one point of time he literally came in front of me i just lifted and i just tried to hit you no know, with the in step uh, it uh, what happened is be- before it touched in the center of the ball it my contact was under the ball and it went boom and it went and landed in the goal and it was a goal but it was a fluke goal i never scored i my intention was to hit so then uh, 32 and then we lost sir by 32 then uh, now third year when i was in third year now i want to win anyhow and this is the last chance for me and that time also in this uh, zonal wise we were champion and then we went to amravati for the final round and final round we again we met guru nanak dev university now we will teach you now you are not in uh, uh, amritsar now you are in amravati and that time we literally you know sir we literally thrash them in the finals so no chance for them at that time and that's how we were twice we were runners up and uh, once we were we finished winners so then from, from the university college level what is the next then i then uh, uh, those days uh, what happened was uh, sir they were not sending our women's team in the national championship so there was controversy i don't know whether the women's footballers uh, football federation and all india football yeah, there federation were two there were two that federation time. so that time i think they merged and then uh, goa was not participating only so one what they did is uh, there was a tournament coming up in amba in uh, Mad- in uh, that time it was madras and dr jailalita that time she was there she organized this tournament and she funded and she sponsored everything and that was international tournament so all india football federation they wrote i think letters to all the federations all the association to send two two players so i went uh, albert kulaso was that time he sent me and uh, uh, angela they angela and vila so three of us went to manipur for the trials and i got selected in the trials and then uh, later uh, there was a trials in uh, chennai then again i got selected and i played for the first time for indian for team for india time. team so yeah. so you could use the national colors for the first time yeah. at what age more or less i think i was that time 21 or something sir okay. 21 22 okay. like that that time you yeah. you must because, have been pretty happy yeah yeah i was top of the world because that was my dream to play for uh, indian team once i played for state team ah oh, then there is another level huh? that i thought that the state team is the last for me i never knew there is international level and all. though i used to follow football uh, as a teenager like you know and i can call as a kid i used to you, you will not believe when i used to when my brothers were playing for uh, kuthuri gymkhana 
I used to uh, go and watch their matches. And uh, I never got a formal uh, training. I used to watch how they, you know, train themselves before the match, how they warm up. Everything I used to watch and I used to do this by, by myself. Next day I would go on the ground and I would do it. So like that I learned what is warming up and everything by watching others. And one fine day, I'll tell you when we, when, and that time, I know you know that Kurtori Jimkana means, uh, they used to, we used to always go in the finals. Most of the finals in South Goa, Kurtori, there was no tournament in South Goa without Kurtori Jimkana. And I used to tell my brother, see, I want to come for the match. And then big bus used to go. And there was, that bus was sudden packed. And there was no chance for me to enter. You know, one, one fun time, uh, I was, uh, you know, lifted and put it through the windows, you know, inside. Is it? Yeah. So that that much I was crazy about football, and I used to not miss. And I went for the match because my brothers are also playing, and Anthony Rubello, all the top players at you know, that time, they were playing. So I was very lucky to see them uh, in action during those so days. So they actually, you got that influence, lot of motivation <laughs> yes. and influence from them. Yeah. yeah obviously, obviously, yeah. sir. And yeah. then you played for India. Yeah. Uh, uh, later on, <coughs> did you have any more chances? to wear the India colours? Yeah, I played uh, many times for Indian team. So I, uh, that was the first time uh, I played for Indian team, uh, participating in the international tournament, Dr. Jalalita. And thereafter, uh, uh, I played uh, uh, that uh, Asian, Asian Championship. Asian Championship was in uh, Thailand. And uh, once it was in uh, China, uh, Guangzhou. And before we could go to China, we had gone to Germany for the preparation and uh, really uh, after coming from uh, uh, Germany we were fully you know like pumped up like you know we were like uh, we uh, literally gained a lot of uh, you know uh, knowledge and improvement we could see that in improvement and then when we went to play uh, Asian championship in China we lost uh, Japan by one goal and that goal was scored in the 45 plus in the first half and that was the only goal and before that, we defeated many teams that time. I forgot the uh, teams. And I think we finished uh, fourth or fifth something that time. And then we, that time, uh, next subsequent year, there was uh, this uh, federation, they have uh, decided to include uh, women's football also in Asian Games. And that's why we qualified beyond the birth to, uh, to play in the Asian Games. So you and played in the Asian Yeah, games. then we were very happy and that time, you know, the, how the coach used to motivate us, like uh, Asian Games is like Olympics for the Asians. And like, you know, so you are lucky. So you all have to uh, give up your 100% during your training and that every day he will motivate us. And he make uh, make us play for uh, with the boys. And I'm going to play matches in the some coaches we will play. If the camp is in Calcutta, then you know Calcutta is uh, football means you will get a lot of players there. So Calcutta, we never have problems to and there's to bring uh, some local clubs, uh, some local teams, and we used to play every day. So you had uh, long innings, uh, yeah, yeah, in yeah. football at the Asian level. Yes. Then after that, I again I played sir, Asian level. Then again another championship. Then uh, last championship I played in Chinese Taipei, where I was the captain of the Indian team. You captain the Indian team. Yes. Sir. Oh, that is a great. Yes. Sir. That's you must sir. have felt very very. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, sir. That was. Uh, I never thought that I would be like a captain that year, and uh, uh, that was. Uh, uh, I was really feeling top of the ball. I was captain, but uh, to tell you frankly. I knew that whenever I came for the camp, we will, I don't know uh, whether you will believe or you will not believe, but I'll tell you, I still remember I told one person in Bombay that time uh, that, sir, I'm going to become the captain. Is it? Yes. And uh, when I came uh, for the trials that in Goa, the camp, I told my coach, just give me uh, five days because I want to train by, uh, by myself for five days. And I said, I don't want to train with the rest of the players. Just give me this permission. Then they, they, they gave me the permission and uh, they all were practicing inside the stadium. I used to practice outside the stadium for five, uh, five days. I worked on my conditioning. Although the ball control was uh, God's gift for me because I had a very good uh, ball control that I know. And then five days I had a good conditioning outside and then I joined the team. And that day we played a match when I came back. I joined the team. The next day on Saturday, we played a match against Salsit Football Club. And uh, 
I had I missed two goals. My two shots landed on the crossbar that day, and uh, but uh, overall it was very good performance, and everybody uh, they liked my performance on that day. And then uh, I joined the team, and then uh, uh, before we could go to Chinese Taipei, uh, last uh, two weeks uh, there were coaches came from uh, from Germany, and there was under 19. Uh, Championship or uh, AFC Championship was supposed to uh, to take place in Goa. Uh, that see in in that same year, and those coaches were brought to train the under under 19 team. So they trained us also, and they were very much happy, you know, uh, looking at me. And they used to always praise me. I don't know. They used to always praise. Uh, I don't know. Like somehow they used to tell. The, uh, they used to always uh, praise me because uh, I have uh, good ball control, and then the, they had one test. uh they gave us one test kind you know where they can uh, that was a unique test unique test we cannot uh, i never uh, such test i have never undergone and this test was like you know they can uh, measure your performance individually so they will have that uh, small sided games and that you are not playing uh, this particular team all the time you keep uh, changing your place uh, your uh, roles and in different teams each is there are so several stations so i were uh, playing for all in all the station and i finished fourth uh, third there and uh, then again they took uh, that time uh, they took us uh, beep test that or uh, that there also i came third <laughs> uh, though of the, that that time i was retiring but what i never thought i would retire i thought i would play another two more years but then i joined uh, into refereeing as a new entrant so then i gave up but what what made you to make a transition from playing into refereeing because mm. uh, very few players take up uh, to refereeing yeah once i i got injured also so when i was playing for uh, mon bagan i got injured uh, i suffered an injury for my right ankle uh, that ligament so i didn't go for operation but uh, two years i used to you know wrap my leg and uh, with the bandage and i used to do my workouts and whatever uh, even normally when i walk also i used to put a bandage and i walk maybe three years i did that and that year i was a referee i have a new entrant in 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 uh, in refereeing and uh, i thought like uh, uh, to be a coach and give uh, instruction from the technical area uh, that it was not uh, you know so i thought uh, i want to be right inside the field where i was a player like that excitement so you wanted that attention yeah that attraction and that attention like you know like how i was getting attention as a player same way i wanted that kind of attention like you know as a referee so if i am on the sitting on the technical area and give instruction it's not bad still but then uh, i was not enjoying that much but though i enjoy coaching but uh, my my uh, what is that my aim was higher higher and higher high i want to achieve this i want to achieve that i want to achieve more and more so how to go about it so referee so after referee becoming a referee what is next of course the batch is the national batch then the fifa batch and then you uh, official to top level matches uh, this is how you know i wanted to become a referee so you you, you you got the fifa batch yeah. which is the ultimate Yes, okay. and uh, if I'm not mistaken, you are the first and the only uh, FIFA referee that Goa has produced. Yes, sir. Yes, you must sir. have been uh, feeling on top of the world. I didn't know about this until uh, until uh, one of our uh, my colleague from Bombay he told to uh, some of my instructors, the senior referees. You know, do you all know this? Maria Ribello is the only uh, FIFA referee to get a referee's badge in Goa. Is Maria Ribello first? because there were earlier there were only uh, assistant referees means so to get a fifa referee badge is me because even today there is no other fifa badge referee no there is on now we have no after this uh, we have tejas now currently are uh, oh, in men's men, in, in men's, men's but yeah. uh, as far as women's is concerned no. it's you and only you yes sir yeah. yeah so you must have been feeling absolutely very very happy and proud to uh, earn the fifa badge Yes, sir. and it is not very easy to get a FIFA badge uh, because uh, you need to sacrifice a lot of things. Lot means meaning lot of things, like as a player also. But as a player, what happens? At least you are with your friends, and then then you go enjoy with your friends. But as a referee, you have to be very particular about your eating habits. You have to be very disciplined. Uh, you need to have uh, 
very punctual uh, especially with your training with your schedule and you have to plan your uh, training uh, program or plan properly and then uh, rest so you have to keep all this uh, there are many other concentrations there are a lot of factors and then uh, you have to update your knowledge with the laws you have to attend uh, classes many things are there so many things and and at what uh, stage of the championship have you refereed in goa uh, initially i started with the with the, what do you call that uh, underage groups then uh, they gave me third division before third division now i started doing i was doing inter village tournament those are tough tournaments inter village tournaments are very tough compared to even i cannot compare it to the national level tournaments and uh, even international level tournament because these tournaments are unorganized not uh, fully well organized and uh, right people are just uh, in front of you and they abuse you <laughs> they do many things did they did they abuse you as a, as a referee any incidents that uh, people okay. definitely i i'll tell you after that particular incident uh, there are people used to always say whenever i'm the referee oh my today uh, be careful ah huh? no uh, no bad words otherwise cards <laughs> <laughs> yeah they used to you know uh, uh, say things behind my back like and then because uh, in one incident sir in uh, in south goa uh, i was doing a second division i think i don't remember exactly but it was second division match where i shown two two red cards two red cards two red cards in the same match in the same match yeah yes. so in uh, in one particular incident where i had given a uh, what do you call that advantage i had given an advantage and this uh, that particular in that particular incident that uh, warrants a yellow card to this player so i played an advantage because the opponents the non offending team was getting an advantage to score goals so i played advantage when the ball goes next out of play i caution this player because that uh, that fall he had committed that warrants a yellow card so i gave a yellow card he asked me why you gave the yellow card and he gave me bad words immediately the red card came out from my pocket and i gave shown the red card the, uh, the one of their player who was the captain he was 40 meters defender he ran towards he came uh, he ran and came to me and he said why you shown the uh, red card to my player Uh, then i said uh, i am the captain i have all the right to ask you i said you are not my captain you are team's captain <laughs> you don't have any right to ask me then he said no okay uh, i don't want to disappoint you i will tell you why i shown the yellow card red card he had abused me so if i abuse what you will do i said you try no <laughs> so i was very you know i was very confident as a referee i was very confident what i am doing uh, then he gave me uh, abuse me the cards were all in my hand only where i used to do the notings on the cards only so the immediately i shown the re another red card so that the was the second red card red card for the in the same that for match. the captain now yeah and then both of them uh, left and when they were both were going out people started you know <laughs> like going them and all and then uh, i became more popular and i started getting good matches then i did professional matches in goa then i did under 23 national level tournaments then i did uh i'm the only lady to do uh, santosh trophy is it yes then i did federation cup i did uh, durand cup then i did uh, uh, the i league the i league was ultimate yeah. then uh, and in the international level you have seen many afc tournament and uh, beside this uh, women's tournaments in uh, uh, national level all the women's tournaments and uh, international tournaments of afc when you did the i league uh Uh, matches mm -hmm. did you encounter any problems i have of course but i cannot tell so this particular incident i cannot <laughs> tell one incident took place which uh, i it's if i don't want to discuss this this incident but personally if i i'll tell you later oh, okay. <laughs> yeah but there was uh, another incident took place in goa where uh, fc mumbai first time when they qualified for the i league they came for i mean invitation tournament in goa and uh, chief coach when they were play they played a match against uh, churchill brothers and uh, this incident took place uh, in the second half and they were leading by two goals and uh, what has happened was that they uh, i shown a yellow card to one of the uh, foreigner in the team and this fellow this coach is a foreigner he started uh, uh, calling out to me referee 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 
and i know that uh, that seven minutes i still remember he seven minutes he was calling out to me he is not a uh, cool down or he has not forgotten that incident like because i gave shown the re- a yellow card to to one of the player calling out to me referee 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 every wherever i go referee so once the ball had gone out for the throw in and that time all top players were playing in that team and uh, i asked the player to wait and he was just right in front of me this uh, coach i said coach i'm giving you 10 min- uh, 10 seconds speak what happened no why you shown the yellow card to the to my player he don't deserve that i said you don't tell me what deserves that is my that is that comes under my purview doesn't it doesn't come under your purview to question me he said uh, no no i know everything i said you know everything then you should know this also why i shown the yellow card why you asking me why you stop me then uh, uh, this because of you referring like you the this is not uh, uh, football is not improving he is telling me then i really got annoyed with this coach i said because of me or i said or because of you do not have uh, you have not updated your knowledge and then finally i said uh, i told him uh, coach you are not doing me any favor and you don't think that you are doing any favor for uh, for indian football if you are really a knowledge person you would have not asked me questions secondly i said you are running your bread and butter you are not doing any favor and then he just kept quiet and he he, he just, after that he did not question me at all then i just, then there was no problem for me so for that. how long uh, you pursued your career in refereeing referee i started in 2000 sir till uh, 2000 and then 2015 till uh, yeah 2000 no 98 i started 99 <coughs> 99 i started and till 2015 i i i retired and you enjoyed your yes yes i really but i re- enjoyed as a player more than the more than uh, as a referee yeah. but then you also took over as a coach yes <coughs> i have done my c license course sir in uh, in in bombay and uh, after my c license course i applied for a a uh, suitable job in uh, scg and since uh, i was international and all so they gave me a, a job as a coach in uh, sports authority of sports goa sports authority yeah sports yeah. authority of goa there are many players of now uh, till date uh, they are play representing state team the one one player representing uh, two three players represented indian team also so i think uh, i feel i am a very satisfied soul like because whatever i have done for my country or for my state now there are my <clears throat> there are my trainees are now doing that so, so i'm you are, very you are, happy you are, you are giving back yes. what uh, you earn you are giving back yes, are you satisfied that you are doing your best and looking forward that more uh, girls will come up in football yeah yeah uh, in fact i'm uh, in fact uh, i'm working uh, in fact, encouraging girls to take up into refereeing so that is the only dream left for me so as a football player as an international player i already have one international or two international player who played for the country but now my next target is to have a, a referee a lady a, a women referee in in, in goa in goa but yes, i sir. think now there are few women referees yeah but there goa. are promising sir there yeah. are few there yeah. are few yeah so i don't want to name because uh, yeah, yeah yeah so there are uh, two three of them are very very uh, but i think promising. you 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 gave them the lead because yeah, prior sir. to you there were no women referees at all yeah so now many uh, uh, ladies are taking up refereeing and this is very encouraging uh, yeah so and uh, i hope they don't give up yeah. they give up only when it comes to fitness okay. <laughs> otherwise they have, they do not have any problem but uh, when you join football and you pursued your career did you ever think that you would continue with football because yeah, most, most, most of the, yeah. most of they play and then they say anta ne kitha ha en ka wa jane football am best time in gelmon Yeah. No, no, so because see, I'm I'm very passionate about football. Football is my passion. So football has given me everything. So now, uh, after football, I don't think so. There is anything else for me. Football is first. So <clears throat> football. Uh, after I played football, I want to be into into football in any how in, uh, in whatever capacity as a referee or as a coach. or anything but uh, the best option which i got is uh, referee you, you enjoyed that yeah referee and uh, coach so i'm still with football so you are still coaching yeah i'm still coaching football and you coach both boys and girls i or? coach both boys and girls yeah, yeah. but uh, do you think the girls uh, football in goa is uh, picking up yes sir definitely i will i will proudly say that it is uh, really uh, 
improving now it is already uh, we are moving ahead like uh, if i say that i ever are underage groups especially underage group i'm not talking about uh, senior team but i'm i talk about my underage groups yes they have uh, improved and we are now in a position even to beat uh, manipur the talent what i am seeing now uh, in the kelo india also i have seen some talent and some uh, inter school tournaments with the uh, Uh, some of the girls are uh, very highly, highly, highly talented. I think uh, three or four of them got selected now for yeah. the national camp, India yeah. camp. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you are happy with the progress? Yes, uh, sir. As far as coaching is concerned. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And do you think there is greater scope in women's football? Or? Yes. Now, like during our time, there was no uh, I League. But I'm not complaining. But still, I'm I'm still into football. So I am not complaining. If I was not into football. And if I was somewhere else, definitely I would feel that uh, I just was not there during our time. I would have regret that. But I don't regret that because I'm still in touch with football. Now what is happening is they have a lot of tournaments. EFF is organizing uh, uh, n number of tournaments for ladies. There are uh, uh, IWL, uh, yeah, like Indian, Indian, uh, in, Indian, Indian Indian Women's League. Yeah. So and there are now team is constantly uh, going out of the country for preparation. So there are now a lot of opportunities are coming up. Which were not there at uh, your time. Yeah, only once we had gone for the preparation. I told you in Germany. So during this, the during our days, this was not there. But no regrets because I'm still in. <laughs> you are in. But football. did you plan that way or it just happened? No, the as I told you, I was very passionate about football. So I wanted to be in into. Anyhow, in in football, because very often the yeah. players don't know what is their career progression, yeah. and then they say, uh, "Was it a mistake uh, getting into football?" It's mm -hmm. not the same case with you. No, sir. No, sir. I was uh, I, I literally enjoyed uh, playing football, and secondly, I'm very happy now for the ladies, uh, the kind of opportunities they are getting now, uh, like uh, competition level, number of competitions have uh, increasing, increase and increasing, and uh, IWL the another one so now uh, they are uh, there is a live streaming of their matches that is also there they are they are, they are getting more coverage now they are very popular on social media most of the, our teams and uh, there are a lot of other things uh, for uh, this uh, women's football is now more recognized more are been watched so there are a lot of support now, uh, nowadays uh, normally players who play even mm -hmm. uh, girls and women they are given some stipend or some money yeah was this also happening during your times no sir that was only on the <laughs> during our time so that i told you whenever we go for uh, exhibition matches those are the only some small trophies best trophies player. that's all yeah only but, trophies uh, no finances uh, no involved, finances no during, monetary gains as nothing such. nothing of that and type. despite all this not being there yeah. you still pursued Yes, that was just love and passion. And, and, and do you any time did you feel that I would make a career in football? Say now in coaching, that's your career. Yeah, the coaching is career, but as a football, uh, we cannot think that uh, there was no uh, like how men's there were clubs. Yes. So the men's there were there was salary for them. For well, ladies, there were no clubs, so there were no <laughs> salary. And for, still, but we, still, we continued. Yeah, because yeah. because of your passion. Passion, yeah. yeah. So so you are determined that yeah. uh, you will continue and that you will grow. Yes, sir. Are you uh, satisfied uh, 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 in whatever you have done and whatever you have achieved? Yes, sir. I would have uh, achieved uh, more also in 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 the refereeing. Where two thousand seven, I got uh, my uh, FIFA badge. When sudden thing, four years uh, things did not work out. I don't want to go into those reasons. But then uh, once in twenty ten, when I have been recognized, then there was no stopping. So always, I was uh, always been, uh, you know, and, always and, been called. And also, I think the recognition. That is the, that. That was the. Uh, I was. I all uh, only wanted that start, but there was no. There was somebody was stopping that start in the okay, beginning. Okay. But once I got that start, there was no stopping, sir. And you became <coughs> the AFC uh, instructor. Now I become after refereeing. After I got retired, uh, still the human wants are unlimited, sir. So you are now the uh, yeah. AFC's uh, referees instructor. Yes, sir. What do you exactly mean by referees instructor? Referee instructor, where we train the referees, uh, we update their knowledge. Uh, whenever there are new amendments coming up, so we update their knowledge. We we give the demos, uh, we technical part of it, we cover everything, sir. And uh, we have to give them classes, and not only uh, to the top referees, but in the state level also. 
uh, we give them classes. So if they have any problems, uh, they come to us, then we have to address that. And uh, uh, then uh, EFC instructor to become an EFC instructor now uh, there is an exam for you. Okay. Yeah, you need to have some IT knowledge. I'm not a good ITian, but uh, uh, you need to have certain uh, uh, the basics of bas basics and some a uh, little bit of uh, uh, not high advanced, middle advanced, like uh, medium advanced. Then, uh, so that also uh, I never went for any uh, classes for computer classes, but I all only learned through uh, YouTube watching others. Like that I learned, but uh, I will tell you frankly, I never went for any classes. I only learned looking at others and whenever I have problem, I will just go to YouTube and I will Okay, check, that's yeah. nice. Sir. And yeah. then and then you <coughs> now are, are also uh, the referee's assessor. Yeah. What is that exactly? Like assessor is uh, like uh, you uh, watch the referee's performance in the given So you analyze, the particular, you, yeah, you, yeah. you analyze their performance. Yeah, you, uh, yeah. And then uh, you write a report about the ref about how the referee had performed, and then uh, you uh, you communicate with the referee also after the match or maybe next next day. You tell about the positives. We always start with the positives because yes. to keep uh, him very comfortable. And uh, if there is a major problem or that where the team uh, uh, where uh, where it has effect, uh, affected affected the match result. Yeah. So we will uh, we'll give them some development point how to fix that problem. So we work on that. So thing. you do the post mortem in yeah, in, we in do other the, words. yeah debriefing we yeah. do and then we we highlight them with their good things, and uh, most of the time we all they only highlight the good things. So and because uh, only if there are some uh, blunders I would call blunders mistakes they do happen, so mistakes are acceptable. So only when there are some blunders we highlight. And, uh, and now I also know that you are the match commissioner for yes, uh, most of the uh, Salvel uh, Goa Professional League now. Yes, what, what is exactly your role? Sir, our role is to, I'm an organizer, I'm the eyes for, for uh, GFA, I'm the organizer for GFA. And uh, on the given day, on what I do is uh, normally the, we, uh, we, we see that the, ensure that the teams are arrived on time. And also we ensure that uh, uh, the referees, the officials of the matches are also arrived on time. Then uh, we see about the, the ambulance, whether the ambulance is fully equipped with the AED. Then uh, we see the ground markings, uh, whether we see the entire ground, uh, we see the nets, everything is in a proper pl is in place. We do all this organization part and uh, also we see the crowd uh, and we see uh, the the home match crowd and we say whether outside uh, means uh, <coughs> the other stands also we have to see the mostly we have to uh, check ensure the safety of the players the referees and also the people also it is not that only uh, this we have to take care of everything uh, the entire stadium and not only uh, before the match during the match even after the match and then we have to write a report about the fair play and the uh, match data, everything we have to write, all the reports, we have to send it to GFA. So, so you have been doing that yeah. uh, on and off and now, yeah. you are content, you are satisfied, I, I should say. So, yeah. we were uh, very indeed very happy that uh, we had Maria with us. Uh, it's not only three in one, but I think uh, four or five roles yeah. that you have uh, uh, yeah. uh, been accomplishing. and to your satisfaction and I think uh, uh, you are needed in football even now after not being active on the play field. Yeah, but even I, as I forgot to add one more thing in the match commissioner thing, like sometimes the teams also, they come for warming up, they cannot uh, warm up entire, you know, just before they have to come at a certain time and they have to leave the field at certain time. So I have to ensure that they leave on time. Otherwise, they keep on time. Then it will delay the re uh, the real uh, delay the kick off. So this thing should not happen. So we have to maintain the timings of kick off. So that also I have to check. It was nice uh, having you, Maria, with us, and uh, we hope that you will still grow in football and maybe new Thank roles, you, new roles now uh, you, that may come your way. Thank you very much. We Thank wish you. you all the best. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, all this. Mm -hmm.